This year in VBS, we raised money for Tijuana. We raised $866.56 for clean drinking water. In Matthew 22, 39, it says, you must love your neighbor as yourself. Not just your next door neighbor, to love everybody around you, and even the people that aren't around you. I think loving your neighbor as yourself means going there, helping them, when Jesus said neighbor, he meant everybody. People in Tijuana need clean water for drinking and bathing. For drinking, bathing, washing dishes, um, playing in the sprinkler, planting crops, drinking, and cooking food. I think that kids could change the world by just being nice. Now hear how the kids in BBS can change the world in Tijuana. Hi, my name is Christian Garcia, and well, as you can see, we got the clean water right here. Now the kids can drink water. Before, we didn't have the clean water, we couldn't have the chance to give clean water to the kids when they come to church. They were asking for water. So now that the kids from Smork Rice could help us with this clean water, we are so thankful. We got two little young girls. Um, the first one is Romina. How do you feel with the clean water? ¿Cómo te sientes con agua um, limpia? Uh, me siento más diferente porque... I feel better with the clean water because sometimes I get sick with the bad water. I feel a little more healthy and I think it's better for me in school and for my brain and things like that. I feel very good and thankful because before Smoke Cross sent this money, the water was really bad and bad for our health. Gracias, niños de Smoke Cross. 13 million Mexicans do not have access to potable drinking water. That is nearly the population of Georgia and South Carolina combined. Something has to change. 95% of Mexico's fresh water supply is contaminated. Something has to change. 4,500 child under the age of 5 died because water made them sick. Each flush of the toilet uses the same amount of water one person in the third world uses all day for washing, cleaning, cooking, and drinking. Something has to change. In developing countries, one person uses an average of three gallons of water a day. In the U.S., one person uses an average of 80 gallons of water a day. To put it in perspective, the kiddie pool my child plays in uses about 260 gallons of water. Something has to change. For $300, Centro Shalom and Tijuana can run their clean water ministry for one month, providing families clean drinking water. I spent $300 on accessories for my truck last year. Something has to change. In June, the youth ministry went to passport camp. We learned about the millions of people who die from dirty drinking water. We know as followers of Jesus that we can't let this happen. We have to help. Before we went to passport camp, I had never really heard God speak to me. But I know God is calling me to do what I can to provide clean water to the people of Tijuana. I have visited Tijuana on our church's annual mission trip. When we got in the showers there, we couldn't even let the water get in our mouth because it could make you really sick. All we could drink was bottled water. I realized even I could make a difference. Something has to change. In an effort to continue to support the clean water ministry in Tijuana, the youth and children will be participating in a walk for water to raise money for this ministry. The walk will take place on Wednesday, October 10th from 6.30 to 7.15 on the softball field. Non-walkers can pledge money for every minute a participant walks. Pledges can be made in the fellowship hall on Sunday and Wednesday nights. All money raised will go to providing clean water to our friends in Tijuana, Mexico at Central Shore.